Hey guys, I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, so when I first started my channel, I didn't really give a lot of information about myself. I was just more, like, scared. So this is what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to be doing, like, a whole thing where I tell you a lot about myself so you can get to know me. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Number one, I'm 14. I turned 14 on Monday. I was so happy to be 14 because I used to make videos with my friend on her channel and we were like 12 when we did them, so we looked horrible, but I would not regret that because that's where I fell in love with making these kinds of videos. So, yes, I told you I fell in love with making these kinds of videos because I did. Um, okay, next thing. My favorite book. My favorite book is Fault in Our Stars by John Green. John Green is my favorite author. Um, I also like his books, Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns. An Abundance of Catherine's was an okay book, but honestly, I didn't like it as much as the others because it really didn't pull me in like all the others did, honestly. So yeah, that's my favorite book. My favorite movie is an amazing movie. I just saw it like two days ago, but it's already my favorite, so you know it's good. It is The Boy Next Door with Jennifer Lopez and Ryan Guzman. It is an amazing movie. A lot of people have been doing negative reviews and saying it's crazy, and it is crazy. Um, it's about a middle-aged woman, like in her 30s. She's going through a rough time with her husband. Her husband cheated on her, and she's trying to get um, divorced from him. And so the boy next door is Noah, and he moved in to take care of his uncle who had cancer. And, you know, he's a nice boy. He fixed her garage door for her, you know, sweet boy. She said, you know, you can hang out with my son. You can come over anytime if you need anything. And, well, he's extremely good looking, so she kind of is attracted to him, but not in the way he thinks she is. And he gets attracted to her, and one night she comes over to help him cook a chicken, and she had already had a horrible day because she was trying to get back out there, and um, he takes advantage of her vulnerability, tells her that she's sweet and beautiful and amazing, and like gets her to start kissing him, and then they do stuff, and then she wakes up this next morning, and she's like, this is a mistake, I don't, I'm the adult here, it's not your fault, I wasn't thinking clearly, and he is blindsided by love, and he's like, what we did, we just made love, you know. Um, and he freaks out and he falls madly in love with her and he starts stalking her. He joins her class, hacks her email. Um, you know, this kid bullies her son and he ends up almost killing the dude because he cares so much about Claire and her, her son. Um, so it's a really crazy movie, but it's an amazing movie and I love it. I just wish that things would have turned out better. Um, I did not want her to get back with her husband because that dude was cheating, and I guarantee, I just I did not like her husband's character. Um, but anyway, it's a really really good movie. Second favorite movie. I saw this when it came, first came out. Like I had to go see it because I loved the previews. And one of my favorite actresses, Brett Rubson, um, was in it. It's called The Longest Ride, and it's a love story, and it's sad, but it is an amazing. I love the book way better than I love the movie, but that's has to be my second favorite movie. My favorite. 
favorite color is this color of blue, royal blue. I love it so much. When I get my room um, and the new house we're getting, I'm painting every, I'm going to have this color is going to be my theme. I'm going to have curtains that color. I'm going to have bedding, a rug, a beanbag chair. Um, everything's just going to be that color because I love that color, honestly. My color. Um, I was gonna do light blue because light blue looks a lot better, but I don't. I don't know anymore. If I can't do this color, then I might go with like a a green um, room instead. That'd be cool. Green room. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I get to do that soon. The room I'm in is a fine size, but I have to share it right now, so I can't do anything to it. Um, and yes, you can see my Die Blue Richard poster. And right behind my head, there's a Cameron Dallas poster um, that I printed out because I love him. So, yes. Who is my celebrity crush? My celebrity crush... and Cameron Dallas is 20, I think he's still just 20, so, hopefully, but anyway, since Cameron's younger, obviously it's going to be him, because, yeah, I have a better chance of meeting him than I do Ryan Gosling, but, My best friend. I don't really have any best friends, but if I had to pick one, be my guy best friend. Um, he actually has a YouTube channel, but that's who my best friend is. My best friend, Kaden. That's my best friend. See, I did have this girl best friend, and she's still a really good friend of mine, but we're not like super close like we were. Um, I had my friend Abby, and then I had my friend Faith, and then my friend Bailey. My Actually, my girl best friend is my friend Bailey, but she's gone. Like, she moved, and I barely get to see her anymore. But honestly, she's still my best friend because she's never left me. You know? I mean, she did leave, but it wasn't her fault. Like, she didn't, she, um, every time she tries and sees me, she can't, she can't because stays with won't let her. So, um, but yeah, she'd be my best friend. And then, do pet. I do, I have a dog named Tucker. Um, he is, sorry, I'm messing with this my English. Um, he is, I want to say, he's nine. Jackson Bull, very rare brand, and it really makes a pretty dog because he's not too big, not too little, he's in the middle, um, and I, the only other dog that I would have besides him would either be a full blood eagle or, don't judge me, but I like Dobermans, honestly. I mean, this is how everyone sees it. They think pit bulls and bulldogs and all them, they think that they're going to be mean because, you know, they're attack dogs. They won't be mean unless you raise them to be mean. So if you keep, you keep them outside, you know, um, and don't feed them and, like, hurt them and stuff, they're going to be mean. But if you, you know, baby them and make them feel welcome and feel and are sweet to them, they are not going to attack you. Um, my friend has a pit bull, and she had pit bull puppies, and um, her pit bull she's had for a long time, and 
nothing's happened because they keep her, they take good care of her, and that's the honest truth. Um, what you need to do. Any dog can be mean if you don't take care of them, but if you take care of them and they're sweet, then guess what? You're fine. So, yeah. Something you value. Don't make fun of me. Here is it. This I value. When I got surgery a long time ago, I was so scared and I needed something and my mom went and she got me this. This little thing. And I know I'm stupid because I'm 14 years old, but it's something I treasure, you know? I'm going to treasure it forever. If I saved anything in a fire, I don't know if it would be this because my sister made me a blanket and that blanket is going to be long enough to last me the whole entire rest of my life. It's actually right here. It is huge. This blanket is absolutely huge. It's three yards, so... But, yes. So, I'd either save this or this. I would not save anything like my phone or anything like that because I'd get new. You can't replace these things, though. You just can't. So, that's honestly what, um, yeah. Because this is made with love. Love! And this was bought with care and love and concern. You can't, you can't replace those things, no matter what anybody says. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something about me.